Dear friends, welcome to a personalized episode of Enlightenment. Today, we delve into the autonomous capabilities of AutoGPT and AI technology, weigh the financial strategies of flipping houses against rental property investment, and explore the impact of integrating UX and UI design in product development. Join us as we uncover these topics' significance to your personal and professional growth. What if AI could not only respond to our prompts, but also anticipate our needs and act on them without further instructions? This fascinating question leads us into the realm of AutoGPT, a revolutionary development in AI technology that promises to redefine our interaction with machines. Today, we delve into the intricacies of AutoGPT, examine how it differs from ChatGPT, and explore its potential to revolutionize the future of AI. AutoGPT, a Python application shared by a developer known as Significant Gravitas on GitHub, is built on the foundation of GPT-4. Unlike its predecessor, ChatGPT, which requires continuous human input to generate responses, AutoGPT operates independently, generating its own prompts based on predefined goals and rules. This capability introduces us to the concept of AI agents, entities capable of navigating the internet and executing commands on a computer autonomously. To put this into perspective, let's consider ChefGPT, an instance of AutoGPT designed to find and generate unique recipes. ChefGPT can independently search the web for upcoming events, like Easter, decide on a suitable recipe, and then save this creation on the user's computer without any external guidance. This level of autonomy marks a significant departure from conventional chatbots, which rely heavily on user prompts. The inner workings of AutoGPT are nothing short of fascinating. The application breaks down its actions into thoughts, reasoning, and criticism, allowing users to follow the AI's thought process as it tackles a task. For example, ChefGPT's decision to search for upcoming events is driven by the reasoning that it will help in creating a relevant and exciting recipe. This level of introspection, coupled with AutoGPT's capability to critique its actions, underscores its ability to operate independently while navigating potential constraints. Moreover, AutoGPT is equipped with long- and short-term memory and text-to-speech capabilities, making its interactions more human-like. This blend of features not only enhances its operational efficiency, but also fosters a more natural interaction with users. Now, comparing AutoGPT with ChatGPT illuminates the groundbreaking nature of AutoGPT's autonomy. While ChatGPT acts as a responsive tool requiring specific prompts for each task, AutoGPT exemplifies the first steps toward Artificial General Intelligence AGI, an AI capable of performing a wide range of tasks that typically require human intelligence. For instance, planning a child's birthday party with ChatGPT would necessitate a series of prompts covering every detail, from theme selection to sending invitations. AutoGPT, on the other hand, would autonomously manage the entire process, showcasing a remarkable leap in AI's problem-solving capabilities. The distinction between AutoGPT and ChatGPT highlights the transformative potential of AutoGPT. By functioning autonomously, AutoGPT not only streamlines tasks, but also opens new avenues for AI applications in various fields. Its ability to self-prompt and tackle problems end-to-end -end without human intervention is a glimpse into a future where AI can assist us more comprehensively. AutoGPT's emergence is a pivotal moment in the evolution of AI. It shifts the paradigm from AI as a tool that reacts to our instructions to an agent that can independently act based on its understanding and objectives. As we stand on the brink of this new era, the implications for technology, work, and daily life are profound. AutoGPT is not just an experimental AI tool, it is a harbinger of the future of AI, promising to redefine our relationship with technology and ultimately reshape the world as we know it. In conclusion, AutoGPT represents a significant milestone in the journey towards artificial general intelligence. 
its ability to function independently, generate its own prompts, and execute tasks without human intervention opens up a myriad of possibilities for the future of AI. As we continue to explore and refine this technology, the question is not just about what AutoGPT can do, but how it will transform our interaction with machines and the broader implications for society at large. And now, pivot our discussion towards Learn Entrepreneurship. What's the smarter choice for your financial future? Flipping houses or investing in rental properties? This is a question that many individuals grapple with as they look to real estate to boost their income and build wealth. Each strategy has its unique set of benefits and challenges, and the best choice depends on your personal goals, resources, and the amount of time you're willing to commit. Today, we'll dive deep into this debate, examining the key differences between flipping houses and renting them out to help you make an informed decision on which path might be right for you. Flipping houses is often glamorized on TV shows and social media, presenting an image of quick profits and dramatic transformations. However, it's crucial to understand that flipping is more akin to running a business than making a simple investment. It demands a significant investment of time, effort, and capital. From scouting the right properties to managing renovations and navigating the maze of permits and regulations, Flipping houses is a hands-on endeavor. It's about actively working to add value to a property in a relatively short time frame, typically aiming to sell within six months for a profit. Yet, flipping isn't without its pitfalls. It's a venture that comes with inconsistent income and the potential for unforeseen complications that can derail your timeline and budget. Additionally, the financial gains from flipping are subject to capital gains taxes, which can take a significant bite out of your profits. On the flip side of the real estate coin is the option of owning rental properties. This strategy leans more towards true investing, where your capital works for you over a longer period. Rental properties can provide a steady stream of passive income through monthly rent payments, offering financial stability and the potential for long-term wealth accumulation. Unlike flipping, where the profit is realized in a single transaction, renting out properties is about building a consistent income source. Moreover, rental properties tend to appreciate in value over time, allowing investors to build equity and potentially secure a significant return when they choose to sell. Rental property owners also enjoy certain tax advantages, such as the ability to write off expenses and depreciation, which can lead to substantial savings. However, being a landlord isn't without its challenges. Vacancies, maintenance issues, and the task of finding reliable tenants can turn property management into a demanding job. For those not keen on the hands-on aspects, hiring a property management company can be a solution, albeit at a cost. When considering flipping houses, one typical approach is to look for distressed properties sold at a discount or true fixer-uppers that require substantial renovations. Both strategies require a keen eye for potential, a solid understanding of the market, and often a tolerance for risk and uncertainty. So, which route should you take? If you're someone who enjoys hands-on projects, has a knack for renovation, and seeks quicker returns, flipping houses might suit your entrepreneurial spirit. On the other hand, if you're drawn to the idea of generating passive income, have patience for long-term investments, and prefer a less active role, then becoming a landlord could be your path to financial growth. Real-world examples abound on both sides of the debate. Consider the story of a person who flipped their first house and turned a significant profit, using that capital to launch a successful real estate business. Contrast that with someone who started with a single rental property and over time built a portfolio that now generates enough income to cover their living expenses. In conclusion, whether flipping houses or renting them out is the better option depends on your personal goals, risk tolerance, and commitment level. Both paths can lead to success in the real estate market, but it's crucial to go in with eyes wide open, understanding the challenges and opportunities each presents. The question isn't just about which strategy is better in general, but which is better for you. So what's your take on this debate? Are you ready to flip your way to profit? 
Or does the allure of passive income from rental properties speak to your financial aspirations? Now, moving from the world of real estate investment to the field of product development, let's explore how early integration of UX and UI design can streamline the creation process and save resources. What if I told you that speeding up product development doesn't necessarily come from cutting corners, but rather from integrating design from the get-go? This might seem counterintuitive at first, but let's dive into why and how design, specifically UX and UI design, can be the accelerator your product development process has been missing. In the realm of product development, a prevalent mantra passed down by senior leaders is save no matter the cost. This approach often translates into a relentless pursuit of faster development times, under the assumption that quicker to market equals less spend and more profit. However, this rush can lead to significant sacrifices in quality, resulting in a product that may not fully meet user needs, or worse, require costly rework down the line. According to a Fast Company report from July, companies can spend up to 35% of their project time on rework. This statistic highlights a critical oversight in the rush-to-market strategy. Neglecting research and design can actually increase costs and extend timelines in the long run. The tech industry has witnessed countless product hiccups and startup failures, underscoring the lesson that proper research and design are essential for saving resources over time. The solution to this conundrum lies in adding, rather than trimming, specifically adding UX and UI design early in the development process. But what exactly are UX and UI design, and why are they so pivotal? UI design is the visual aspect of a product, the interface through which users interact with a brand's digital presence. It's about using design elements to guide users towards solutions effectively. On the other hand, UX design delves into the research and psychology behind how users experience a product. It encompasses usability, functionality, interactions, content and architecture, ensuring the product solves the right problems for its intended audience. When UX and UI design are integrated from the start, it leads to a profound organizational shift. Teams begin to see the value in validating proposed solutions with engineers, stakeholders, and users continuously. This validation process is crucial for minimizing the risk of missteps and costly rework down the line. Historically, product development followed a waterfall approach, where business stakeholders, designers, and engineers worked in separate phases. This siloed method often resulted in products that missed the mark, required costly changes and prolonged development times. To address these issues, agile methodologies were introduced, emphasizing cross-team alignment, collaboration, and incremental validations. Frameworks like Design Sprints and Kanban have fostered environments where prototyping and regular testing keep the end user's needs at the forefront. Efficiency minus risk equals acceleration. This formula captures the essence of how design integration speeds up development. By refining and validating needs, solutions and designs in regular development sprints, product teams can increase their confidence in the final product, thereby reducing development time. One compelling example of design's impact on product development is the case of a major tech company that initially bypassed UX research in an effort to launch their product quickly. The result was a platform that users found confusing and difficult to navigate. Recognizing the issue, the company paused development to invest in extensive UX research and redesign. The redesigned platform, informed by user feedback and usability testing, not only improved user satisfaction, but also increased engagement and reduced support calls. This pivot, although costly and time-consuming initially, ultimately saved the company from a potentially failed product launch and reinforced the value of integrating UX design from the start. In conclusion, the key takeaways for tech leaders are clear. Integrating designers early in the development process to consistently validate proposed solutions can drastically reduce the cost and time of rework.
Understanding the distinct roles of UX and UI design is crucial for building successful products. An initial investment in design frameworks and methodologies can save substantial development costs in the long run, proving that when it comes to speeding up product development, design is not just an add-on, it's a necessity. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Innovation Pulse. If you enjoyed our insights and are eager to learn more, the Enlighten Me app is just a tap away. Expand your knowledge with personalized content on over 20 diverse topics, from crypto to health and beyond, all curated to fit your interests. Download the Enlight Me app now at the Apple Store or Google Play, or visit the enlightme.ai website. Stay curious. Stay enlightened.